Okay, it's now day three for baby Hicks and it's 10 a.m. He's currently on pressure control SIMB with a PIP of 18, a PIP of 5, a respiratory rate of 35, and an FiO2 of 45. Your assessments show good aeration throughout by breath sounds. Total respiratory rate is 52. His SpO2 is 97%. His blood gas is 7.35, 45, 53, and 21. So first of all, is this enough information to determine if therapy can and should be changed? If so or if not, what, do you, what else do you think you need? What other assessments do you think are needed to make a change if you don't think this is enough? If you do think this is enough, then what change do you think is needed? And why is that? And then, if so, what change would be made and why? Okay. So we're going to go on to the next slide. So looking at this information, we really don't need any extra assessments to make a decision if we need to make a change or not. In this situation with respiratory distress syndrome, we don't even need breath sounds specifically because they're really not relevant. Um, so for this patient, they are stable on these settings. They have a good, strong respiratory rate. Their SpO2 is adequate, and their blood gases are all within normal. So w once we have a patient stable, then we are ready to begin weaning because we want to wean as soon as possible. So in order to wean, the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to decrease our respiratory rate. In this case, I'd go down to a respiratory rate of 30 and then recheck our gases. Um, we wanted to do respiratory rate, remember, because the patient does have a good strong respiratory rate. As we decrease the respiratory rate, it's still ensuring that 30 of those breaths are getting an adequate tidal volume. And so um, we may see the respiratory rate decline a little bit or maybe go up to make up for the having fewer delivered breaths. We don't need to decrease our pressure because we're already at a low pressure. Now, if my PIP on this patient would have been 32 with the rest of these settings being the same, I personally would have selected to decrease my pressure first um, to get it down to a reasonable, less dangerous level. Um, so just food for thought. Um, so again, I wouldn't change my FiO2 because at this point his PaO2 is just fine and we really don't want to change two parameters if we don't need to.